tomorrow, you can see my next guest as the bitchy cheerleader in the spoof, Not Another Teen Movie. Let's take a look. Don't think you fooling us because we saw you at our practice and I know you stole our routine. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about because we've always done our own cheers. Right, girls? That's, That's right. right. Well, then you better bring it. Oh, it's already been brought in. We're black. We know it. We shake our big booties and show it. We ain't white. We ain't white. We definitely ain't white. Break it down. I'm seeing it. Please welcome Jenny Presley. I've seen a bunch of clips from the movie. It looks like there's a lot of funny stuff. The in whole here. thing is funny. It's an hour and a half of uh, funny. <laughs> <laughs> Joel Siegel raves an hour and a half of funny. <laughs> this is your this is your chance, okay? We got 15 billion viewers watching right now. What's your hard sell for this movie? Okay, one. Naked girl who's a foreign exchange student throughout the entire movie for she, guys. She's naked throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and. <laughs> Is that, good the, is that ones. the European really universal good sign? Ones, okay, yeah. yeah. And uh, for the girls, well, actually, for the guys still, there's tons of cheerleaders and short skirts and whatnot. Right. And uh, we all wear chicken cutlets, which is what we call them. The things that What's you put in your bra to give you some size. I don't use them. No. Yeah, you don't <laughs> use them. I actually had three different sizes of the, what we call the chicken cutlets, you know, because. What do they do? They push, lift, and support? They... Basically, they just give you more boob. They give you more boob. Well, see, you know, none of us were as blessed as all these uh, girls on these teen movies in the last six years. Right. Um, so we decided to, you know. You're destroying a lot of illusions right here. Pretty much. That it's all chicken cutlets. Um, and then uh, there's tons of hot guys, and we got tons of cameos from people back in the 80s from all the movies. And it's just, uh, it's really clever. It's extremely funny, and, and you don't have to think much when you watch it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, you hit on, I have to say, you did hit on our secret formula on that one. <laughs> is, it, is it, now, I was, you know, I was reading through your sort of resume of, of past work today, and I saw something that caught my eye. This can't be true. You did a movie about a killer pinata once. <laughs> is that true? I gotta tell you, yes, but, okay. I was hired along with another guy from another show. We uh, were doing this film, but when we got to set, we realized it wasn't what we thought. We originally read it and thought, oh my God, this is hilarious. It was it's, like like, a, it's like a parody of a horror film. It was film. a parody of a horror film, kind of like scary movie. Right. And we get there, and they were dead serious about this killer pinata. <laughs> so a, a, a pinata that comes to life and starts killing people? Yeah, and people? you know who the pinata was? Chucky. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It was the little guy that played Chucky. Oh, not the real Chucky. Okay, the actor who played it. It was yeah. the actor, yeah. And so there's so so there's a pinata that's going around killing people. Does it have candy inside it or? Um, no. It was the worst thing, literally, I've ever seen in my life. You know, I, you know what I think? Like I, when I first saw that, I thought that can't be true. There can't be a movie about a killer pinata. That's and then what I realized. Then I realized that the reason there could be is that the movie Leprechaun broke all the rules. That's what happened. For horror films, they actually made a movie about a killer <laughs> leprechaun yeah. whose catchphrase was, I want me gold. <laughs> who's killing people. And once they did that, it was like the rules were over. Anybody yeah, could do well, whatever see, they the wanted. The problem was, it was it, the script came out at the same time that uh, the scary movie script came out. And there right. was another one called, I Know What You Screamed Last Halloween. Right. I mean, there were all these spoofs. And for sure, we thought, oh, this has got to be. And it was hilarious if you read it thinking it's a spoof. But it's not like a drama. Did the... <laughs> Did the killer pinata say anything? Like, I will get you. He never said anything. His eyes just went, mm, 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 and that was it. <laughs> Can I get this movie? I want to see Man, it. Man, I don't know. I, don't, I hope not. Um, I just, as, people, as people are being murdered, they're like showered with candy. Ah! Um, yeah. You are from North Carolina. Uh, yes, I am. Kinston, North Carolina. And I don't really detect this, because I, I really love Southern accents. I think a lot of people do. My accent comes out when I'm really tired mm -hmm. or mad. Any, any extreme emotion, it comes out. I've been in California for 10 years, but mm -hmm. like I'm getting ready to go back home uh, to visit the family on Sunday. And the minute I get off the plane, I'll start talking like this immediately. Hey, oh my God, I haven't seen you so long. Everybody's like, oh my God. Do you call the... <laughs> <laughs> it's do, bad. Do you call the creek the crick? Does anyone no, do that? No, it's the creek. Okay, okay. It's who, creek. Who says the creek? Let's go up to the creek. Does anyone say I've that? I've never heard anybody say that, okay. quite frankly. 
It was Deputy Dog, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. What about those great expressions? I love, like, those colorful Southern expressions. Oh, yeah. Do you know any? Did you grow up knowing any of those? Yeah, let's see. Grandma Presley. Mm-mm. Old Granny Presley. Old Granny Presley. Um, her favorite, well, my favorite of hers was, she actually had it stitched on a pillow. Um, men are like parking spaces. The good ones are taken. The only ones left are handicapped. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. That's a that's a big or, pillow. Yeah, yeah, it's a big pillow. <laughs> she was really good at it. Had all the time in the world, you know. That's how she wrote. That's yeah. how she wrote. Um, there was a couple of other ones, and without, let's see, saying the bad word, she. Let's see what. Um, a Woody has no conscience. I'll put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Where did she sell that pillow? I want to know. <laughs> It wasn't it's on like, a pillow. That's just something she'd say to us. You know, like, I came home and she told me this when I was 18 because I was right. single and she was like, honey, you just need to settle down. You just need to go on and find you somebody. And I'll tell you right now, uh, Steph hmm, has no conscience. <laughs> and I was like, what does that have to do with anything? She's like, quit yeah. looking for the perfect man, honey. You ain't going to find him. Now, like, oh, now get up to the crick. Yeah. Thanks. Now, uh, I'm curious, you, you obviously, very attractive woman, and I'm always looking at these magazines, and you're on the cover, and people are talking about Jamie Presley, and everyone wants to be with Jamie Presley, and I'm thinking to myself, you must get hit on all the time. Is that true? Do guys have the nerve to hit on you and try a line, or no? Yes, but, like, here, like the worst line I've ever heard, I, it was so bad. I'm, I'm back home in North Carolina. I went to, uh, I was in Greenville, North Carolina, at this bar, with some friends of mine uh, who go to school up there. And this guy, we're, we're walking to the restroom, and this guy comes up to me, and, go, and it's really loud, and he goes, hey, what's your name? And I said, Jamie. And he said, what? I couldn't hear. What's your name? I said, Jamie. He said, huh? I said, Jamie. And he's like, oh, I thought you said jamming. And I was going to say, hell yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm like, wow. And like, that's obviously something that he did not think up, you know? He didn't take probably the time. Probably written down somewhere. Yeah. I mean, really, yeah, scratch it off. Good call. Uh, I gotta tell you, I have to tell you, when I was walking into the studio, uh, out from outside, I get out of the car, and you know, there's people out there just sign autographs, and right, I'm signing. Right. And this one man who, uh, who's, informed me he's a senior citizen. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to get to everybody, but then they're like, Jamie, we have to go, we have to go. And it always makes you feel guilty when you can't get to everybody. Sure. And I said, okay, I'll get you when I come out. And he's like, Jamie, honey, I'm a senior citizen. I can't wait for you to come out. You're gonna have to come out. You're gonna have to either come out early or you're gonna have to do it now. That's, that's your choices. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is? You know what that I'm is? getting choices now? <laughs> that's, that, that's New York City. <laughs> like, I'm you're a gonna senior do citizen. I'm you're like, gonna... What does that have to do? And why, if you're a senior citizen, what the hell are you doing watching my stuff? Where have you been? Where, that's just, you know. That's how I'm going to spend my 60s, 70s, okay, 80s, and right. 90s. I mean, I'm flattered and glad. <laughs> yeah. It's just that doesn't really make me want to sign it anymore. you gotta, you got to make the guy happy. Uh, oh, not I'm Another Teen Movie opens tomorrow, mm -hmm. and Jamie's co-hosting MTV's New Year's Eve celebration. Yes, that's going to be fun. All right, have fun I'm with excited. that. Hey, Thank thanks you. for coming by. Thank you for having me. Yes. Jamie Presley, everybody, we'll take a break. We come back. Lewis Black is here. Stick around.